never give up on yourself, on your dreams. But yeah, man, in this world, man, one thing that I learned in America, it can be hard if you do not have all the resources that you need. If you gotta work for those resources, don't get me wrong, it can be done because I did it, you know what I'm saying? And I'm continuing to do it. But that shit is not easy, it is tiring, and that shit is not easy. That's the best way that I could put that shit. That shit is hard. Once you make it one time, I think you should get a pass from that point. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> For real, you should just get a free card, then you made it again, don't go back down to the bottom or something. I don't know. <laughs> For real. I love working. I love making my own money. I don't like asking people for anything. As a matter of fact, I like giving. You understand? So I will give you money that I don't even have because of the fact that I know what it's like not to have money and I know that God got me. So I would rather depend on God and give you the money. That's why I'm homeless. Because I put my faith in people too much and I had to put my faith in God. So that being said, for whatever reason I went through what I went through is the reason why I'm sitting right here talking to you right now. So for whatever reason, I'm going through what I go through, but I trust God. I know that everything is going to be okay. And that's the faith that I got to have because of the life that I've been through. It has to be a better side. This cannot just be the end. That is the faith that I have because this just can't be it. This just can't be it. Worst thing that happened to me, people don't care. You know, I'm not the type that asks for money. I'm not the type that try and, like, I don't like getting over on people. You know what I'm saying? So if I ask you for some money, for food, or whatever the case may be, that is really what it is. And the way that people look at you like you just a piece of shit basically like you don't even exist is the worst thing anybody i wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy and that's just for real i would i wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy i want people to know that there are humans out here like you don't have to be perfect like you don't have to be a drug dealer you don't have to go and kick in somebody's house or rob nobody in order to make that amount of money to be, to show your talent. America ghettos and hoods are broken. You know, it's a lot of shit that need to be fixed and people just walk along with their life like they don't care or that we make excuses for what it is that we've been through, but it's never an excuse. Every real person that you know in America that is from the hood, they own up to everything that go on in their life. Everything that go on in their life. They say that they made that mistake, but that don't mean that they want to live the rest of their life messed up because of one mistake. And I be telling people, ain't nobody came back, as far as I know, except for Jesus, to say that it's something else after this. <laughs> so that being said, hey, live your life to the fullest. Be the best person you could be and show what God made you for. That's what I feel like life is for. For real, show the best you. Why the hell not? The American dream to me is freedom, man. Being able to go to a house that you love to go home to. Being able to get into a car that you love to get into. Go to a job that you love to work for because you paying for the things that you love. You can go on vacation. You can take care of your kids. You can send them to good schools. You can put them in good clothing that you feel like that they that's acceptable for your children. That is the American dream to me. Working until you can't work no more. I know people that worked till they were 60 years old. And the only reason why they didn't know that they didn't show up to work because they was dead. They worked until they died. That is not the American dream to me. God is real. You know, if you ever want to know that God is real, you could pay attention to my life. Um, there's been several situations to where there's no way that I could have made it out unless there is a God. Um, just like, for instance, I was telling Muhammad, it's been times where 
I don't ask people for food. I don't ask them for money because I don't like the way that they make me feel. I don't like the way that they look down on me. So broke down one day and I start, you know, going through my emotions and praying to God, telling him, like, I don't want to ask nobody else for nothing else, you know, because I don't like the way it feels. I want to ask you. So I need some money right now. I was ended up where I was sleeping on the stoop, had my little head thing over my the hoodie on and everything. So I'm sitting there and I'm trying to figure out how I'm finna get some money. And I already prayed to God that I don't want no money. You know, I don't want to ask nobody for nothing. The next thing I know, somebody walks up to me and say, hey, are you okay? Here's some money. And just gave me money. If I'm hungry, it don't matter if I have money or not no money. Somebody will come up to me and be like, hey, did you eat? Here you go. Oh, here's some money for some food. That's just what it is. Now, it doesn't happen like that all the time. Sometimes I do have to do work you know faith without works is dead so sometimes i do have to ask people it don't matter on how you feel if you need something long story short um about my life uh my mom and dad when i was eight years old of an overdose um i went to the arcade to go and play some video games she told me to come back and bring back some cookies and ice cream and when i came back they put her back some trash and i saw the police picking her up and shit um, my father, I didn't grow up with him in my life. He was on heroin, living in trash cans and shit. I didn't meet him until I was 22 years old. Um, when my mother died, my grandmother tried to kill herself. Um, so, if it was not for God, I would not be here. Basically, between, and my grandmother did the best that she can do, you know. I'm not saying that she didn't raise me good, you know, because obviously I got a good head on my shoulders, but... I grew up and I was born and raised in the church because I felt like that there was nothing else to believe in. We didn't have money. I didn't. I was the broke kid in school. Um, the girls used to make fun of me. You know, um, that's what it was. You know what I'm saying? When I went to church, I was the person that they used to always have the donation for to get the robes for the choir and to go to Six Flags. And you know, I've always been that kid. So my idea was to leave Chicago. Chicago is a very dangerous city. You know, if anybody know me, I'm GD. You know, I was in a gang. You know, I'm in a gang. You know, that's what it is. But the thing about it is, is that sometimes the life of a gang can take away the life that you're supposed to live. You know, so I decided to do different things and to go a different way. You know, um, I, I've been rapping since I was a kid, seven years old. I've almost signed two, three deals. I could have been famous a long time ago. But when I was growing up, the only way that a black man was famous was to play basketball, football, or to be a rapper. That's it. So I wanted to do business. That's why I went to college. That's why I opened up telemarketing agencies. That's why I learned how to do be a mortgage broker, a loan officer. I wanted to learn the business side of the world versus just being an act. So that being said, I started to try to do that. I went to the military. Um, it was a lot of prejudice in the military. That's why I got out of that. And I wouldn't give a damn if y'all seeing it or not. Um, that's why I left out of that. I didn't want to do that no more. You know, I, I've lived a very hard life because it is a life that I am trying to build and to leave for my kids. I do not understand how a lot of people from the hood, which is where I'm from, go around in circles. Nobody leaves the hood. You just get so far. Like, it's time for us to own our own buildings and houses and and cars and, and businesses to where we are able to leave something for our kids. And that's what my goal is. That's what I'm trying to do and God know what I'm trying to do. And that's my life in a nutshell. That's a, that's a snowflake and a blizzard of my life. My brother's record label, Dream Entertainment. I supported him to help him with his label because he didn't have nobody to help him when I had money. You know, so that being said, Y'all go support Dream Entertainment because that's my brother. Regardless, you support that. You know what I'm saying? These are my other tattoos. It's my daddy name. You know, this is nickname. Got this seven right here. This stand for truth or trustworthy because I don't like people that lie. You know, you don't need to lie. You're too old to lie. You know, living your damn life. This is my other tattoo. Got a dragon that is over my mama. Rest in peace.
and then my kids you can't see it that good but Akila, Sanaya, and Tayana. And then now I got Bethany and Lil Gino. I gotta put them on my arm. Basically, I opened up my business as a doing business ass. Um, I, I wanted to have it to where I am get them affiliated and get them affiliated is me. So that way nobody could steal it. So that being said, I have my EIN number. I got my doing business ass. I had a business bank account, but I had to use that and that's closed. But basically, I have the venue. I, I, I own my own label. I get 80% of whatever it is that I do. You understand? It, as a label, not as an artist. I, 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 can, I have the venues that I can go and perform at, but I do not have the money to perform. I don't have the clothes that I need to buy. I, don't, I can't pay for the music. I can't pay for the girls. I can't pay for the venue. I can't pay to get in the venue. I can't even pay to sleep to get ready for the venue. So that is where I am. Everything is lined up. I can make money where I am, but I do not have money to make the money and every day is to live, is to eat. Just like I told Mohammed, when I wake up in the morning, it's to get me some food to eat. When, once I get something to eat, then I go and eat and I sit down and I relax for a second. Now, it's time to get some money to see if I can get on the bus, to see if I can go and try to find a job or find a, 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 a way for me to get my ID or figure out if it's a way to get around my ID. So that's more money I gotta get. Every dime I get is to take care of myself. This is the first time that I have gotten to chill in a long time not worrying about money, period. If I had the opportunity, one clear shot, I will kill that shit. And that's for real. I own the Timeshare Resale Company. Um, when I own that company, the laws are very vague. It is in the gray area of the law. At any moment, you cannot be doing the right thing. I already didn't know what I was doing when I opened up the business. I did as much research as I could, but I didn't know what I was doing. I've never owned a business. I didn't know anybody who owned a business. So I tried the best that I could. That being said, it came into a fact that the law got involved to where they were questioning me if I had the right things, I didn't feel like that I, what I was doing was right, so I stopped. I do not want to break the law. I want to make money to take care of my kids. So that being said, I, I got out of it because I didn't feel like that it was the right thing to do. I didn't know what I was doing and I didn't want to go to jail for owning a business. So that being said, that's how I got homeless. I had to start over again. I went and start cooking again. I, I, I serve. I, I, I have several different avenues on where I can make money, but it's on a minimum wage basis. You cannot take care of a family making $9 an hour. My paychecks was $250 every two weeks. I can't live off of that. So that being said, I started this business trying to do this, but it's hard to start a business when you don't have any money. It's hard for people to believe in you when you have failed in regards to your business failed, you know? So that being said, that is why I'm homeless. I don't have an ID. I cannot work. I do not have the extra money to put in the business to get the money that I need to have in order to take care of my family. So I'm by myself. Basically, I have a, I have four baby mamas. I have five kids. Um, a lot of my baby mothers, my first wife, I messed that up. I was very immature, and I wasn't ready for a wife. So that ended up not working. That's fine. I learned from that mistake. But the rest of the females, you know, it. A lot of females, as you know, they in America they go off of money a lot you know on what it is that you can provide for them on how you provide for them and what their quality of living is it's not necessarily that they are in love with you and I'm not saying that these females did not love me but I'm saying that they love what it is that I could do for them more than they cared about me as an individual person my last baby mama she is a lot different she does try to do a lot better you know, but in the same instance, 
people gotta live, they gotta eat. You know, women have this thing in their head to where on what they wanna be in life and where they wanna be at when they marry somebody. And sometimes as a man, it hurts more that you can't be that person. So for a woman to leave you for money is like the worst thing in the world. Because that means that she don't value you as a person. They only play in attention. Basically, the only reason why they look at you is because they feel like that they are supposed to look at you. Oh, he's homeless. Oh, let me give him some food. Not really genuinely caring about what it is that's going on in your life. Um, stand by my mission. Get this money. Just get them. That's my description. Get them affiliated is the name of my label. Get them and to get my money and to get what I feel like that life should be is my mission. I don't care about what it is that nobody else think about. I don't care where you feel like that I should be at because this is my life. My kids and me are going through these trials and tribulations. And uh, my mind's saying get it, but my body can't push it. Meaning that my mind is ready, but my body is tired. I can't sleep. You understand? I ain't got nowhere to sleep. I ain't got nowhere to eat. So how can my mind move if my body is not at 100%? That's just something that I wrote, and that's something that I'm working on. Never give up on yourself, on your dreams. No matter what life throws at you, no matter who comes at you, no matter how mean people are, never let the world change what God intended for you to be. That's the only message that I got. If you know that you are more on the inside, you have to have faith that you will see that, that you will see the other side of you that you know that God made you to be, period. No matter what your circumstance is, it's all fog. Have faith and you will be able to make it.